Welcome back, it's JJ and Mike and LBPostSports.com where we went out on Tuesday night to the Wilson Gym to see a Battle Royale and more league volleyball between the Lakewood Lancers and the LB Wilson Bruins. That's right, and these are two of the top ten teams in the southern half of California, so we knew when we got there this was going to be a great match. Before we get started, can I just say, big fan of the Wilson Gym. Oh, that uh, LBCC styled second tier on the near side? Yeah, it's old school, I dig it. I like it too. Well, the first set was very defensive, and that's how both of these teams have been all year long. It's how they win games. That's right. We've seen them each a couple times, and uh, their defense has really been what they've gone to in, in all those matches. Big blocks from uh, middle blocker Amanda Pacheco on the Wilson side, and on the Lakewood side, it was all Jasmine Orozco. Um, but it was a, it was not close in the beginning. It ended up being 25-20, but at, some, at one point, Wilson ran away with it. That's right. Wilson was up 21-10 in the first set before uh, Lakewood roared back to only lose by five. That's quite a run. Uh, but they used that momentum. Mike Wadley, the coach of the Lakewood Lancers, got him juiced, and, uh, and, and they used that momentum to go right into the second set. But if you're going to win, you got to go to your star, and that's Jasmine Orozco right there, number 15, with 12 kills on the night, just swinging it from the outside. Yeah, that's right. She was a big part of why they came back and won that second set by a score of 25-16. to 16. And things looked great for the Lancers at that point. Mike and I looked at each other after that, uh, after that second set and we're just like, man, this is going to be a barn burner. Yeah, it really did seem that way. But, uh, you know, Wilson is just too talented. That defense is unbelievable. And uh, they really dominated after that. Yep, as much as, uh, as much as Lakewood went to their star outside hitter in Jasmine Orozco, Wilson went to their outside hitters, and that being number 10, Janisa Johnson, who had eight kills. That's her right there, but those eight kills, all in that third, most of them in that third set, and that was the turning point. And every time she swung her arm, boom, you could just feel the life come out of Lakewood. I mean, every kill she had, there were only eight, like you said, but they were all huge. Yep, and they, uh, those outside hitters uh, were the difference. Obviously, the middle block was important. Uh, Pacheco with four blocks and ten kills on the night, but those outside hitters were the... Uh, with the athletes in the uh, in, in the gym that were just making it happen. Kind of like the athletes in the secondary that, for a football team, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's right. They really, all of those girls can jump. They've all got huge cannons on their arms. Yeah. And you can hear it from wall to wall when they hit the ball. Absolutely. Um, so Wilson pulls it out in four sets. 25-15 uh, in the third, 25-18 in the fourth. And uh, Wilson now sits atop the Moore League all by themselves. But these two teams play again. That's right. Uh, Wilson's 17 and 2 right now, but they will have to go to Lakewood with their student section to play the Lakewood Lancers once more. 